Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to S rank Mission 44 Total Stealth Pitch Dark and Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. But the main mission objectives for this is to shut down the oil transfer pump and destroy the oily water separator tank. So you want to take a rocket launcher uh, to destroy the oily water separator tank. And I'm going to go in the east entrance to the to the Mifinda oil field uh, guard post. I mean, speed is now a main concern in this mission. It's uh, but it will score you a very high score if you can do it fast. Right, while you're uh, in the helicopter before you've landed, I like to mark. Uh, the Mifinda oil field and the east entrance and that's where I'm going to run to the the marker B that I've marked on the map now I could have put D horse but uh, I opted for D dog and I know it's a lot of distance to travel but uh, skip the cutscene when you got off helicopter but I brought D dog because D dog is invaluable at marking people so you know exactly who's about so when you get to the waterfall, climb the rocks, a bit footy but you'll get up eventually. Then climb up again and, and go down to the right and you'll go by all the kind of palm tree looking things. Right, and then you want to stay at the kind of right hand side of that uh, rock formation wall. And just be careful when you fall down so you don't injure yourself, just slide down. Yeah, I like to run over here to the right. Past this week in a canopy hut. Up the rocks. And then I make a straight B line for uh, my B marker now. I know it's like a thousand five hundred meters nearly, but you can cover that distance pretty quickly. And uh, for all the pros that would be to get there quicker with the horse, the horse can't help you when you're actually in the base. And you need to know where the soldiers are, and, and that's where I think D-Dog really comes in handy. Just so you know where everybody is, and it's just a case of eliminating MD in your path. Because there's snipers inside the base as well. So I know it's boring you to watch it all running all the way to the base, but I highly recommend doing this method if you're going for the stealth approach. Because like I said, time isn't the, the biggest factor in this mission, it's... Uh, Trying not to get spotted is a, a big factor. Just keep running, don't go towards the kind of golden yellow objective, go towards your own objective because the, the yellow objective will take you kind of to a kind of cliff top above the base and you've got to slide down and stuff. But if you go to the east entrance where I've marked with B, uh, you don't need to go over uh, much cliff. It's a more direct route to the kind of pump room anyway. Because uh, you really want to do it in the order of shutting down the pump, skipping the cutscene, and then doing uh, blowing up the oily separator tank, and then try to evacuate the base as quickly as possible. And you're going to backtrack. You're going to go out the entrance that you went in. That's another reason I like going this way because you know roughly the terrain uh, what you're going to have to come back out on because you went in that way. Yeah, we're nearly there, thankfully. So head towards B. Just be wary of landmines and stuff. As you can see, the D-Dog's been marking landmines. So you can put the night vision goggles on and have a look about in case there's any sneaky landmines about. Right, 
don't see any landmines that's going to cause any problems on my route to the base, so I can crouch walk a bit. Right, just crouch walk and then start crawling when you're on the other base. I'll just take my night vision goggles off now because I don't think there's any mines here. Another uh, tip, excuse me, to make this bit uh, much easier is uh, full and extracting as many guys as possible so that the guys don't wake up because this is total, uh, total stealth so if, uh, if you get caught it's game over. Excuse me. I like to shoot them in the legs in case I've got combat helmets on their heads. Okay, so take out the first three guys and want to fill and recover as many of them as possible before any extra guys appear. Don't worry if the guys are crapper than the guys you've got in Muller Base, it just gets rid of these guys for the rest of the mission. And it makes your sure job a hell of a lot easier to escape the place once you've destroyed that oily separator tank. So just extract everybody you can. And extract this guy as well. There's a guy getting in close, so I'm going to have to deal with him in a minute. And whenever you're not uh, extracting people and stuff like that, always be crawling in this base just so you don't get caught because there are snipers in here. Always go for leg shots if you can. Because two leg shots will down them. This is where it gets a bit hairy because there's quite a few soldiers in this section. So whenever you're not extracting some day that you've put to sleep, get back down crawling so you don't get caught. On board. The and always go for the legs in this mission. Because they'll not get any armour on their legs and they'll go down in two shots, guaranteed, as long as you've hit them. And as you can see there's still plenty of soldiers left in the vicinity. I'm going to call in a supply drop to replenish my suppressor on my uh, WS pistol. Because uh, the tranquilizer uh, suppressor is a must on this mission. Because if they hear your gun going off, bomb, they'll look in your direction that you've got game over. You've got to do that whole bloody... Big Moreau again. Right, so I'll wait for my supply drop to come down. Replenish my bullets and my suppressor. And then I'm going to try and fill and recover this guy. So that's one less soldier to wake up. As you can see there's still plenty of soldiers in this area, so I'm going to have to be wary. He's coming too. Roger that. There's another soldier, so I'll try and get him in the legs and knock him out as well. And that's him uh, hopefully taking out the equation. Yeah, I missed one of the shots there. I missed two of the shots. Right, he's down there. Try and get that guy as well. Right, so that's another two in the upper level dealt with. Another guy over there. Like I said, just take your time. Time is not the the most important factor in this mission. If you'd rather go for headshots and you're confident enough to 
do that without wasting suppressor bits then go for that. I'm just showing you this method I'm using. Currently extract as many guys as possible. Then get back down crawling again. And they reloaded there. So I missed my window of opportunity. Bloody pipes are blocking the way, man. <sighs> Shit, this guy ran right by me. Even D Dogs try to get in the way as well. I'm going to try to fill and extract this guy as well. Oh, somebody's woke that guy up there. Bloody hell. I'll fill and extract him and then I'll jump back down the ground and crawl. But one of the soldiers I tranquilized, somebody's woke him up on that upper level with that kind of balcony bit. And they're all kind of coming over to investigate now. He's nearly caught me there. And D Dog's blocking the bloody way as well. Right, so since they're all coming in, there's quite a few of them. I'm going to throw a smoke grenade. Right, and when they're incapacitated by the smoke grenade, I'm going to throw a sleep grenade to try and knock both of them out. Right, that's day two knocked out. I need to call in uh, another fuel and supplier for my suppressor. Well, I've run out of suppressor, so I'm not going to shoot another bullet because I'll get caught and that'll be a game over. So if they two get woken up, then they get woke up. I'll just need to throw a smoke grenade if he comes over to wake them up. And here he comes. Right, he's been caught in my smoke grenade. I'll throw a sleep grenade to knock him out now. And now I'll go and collect my uh, filter supply stuff. Right, so I've replenished my suppressor and my bullets from my tranquilizer gun. But look, there's a sniper that spotted me. I'm going to try and take that guy out in that upper level again. That's one less guy to worry about. If D Dog will get in my way, that is. So I've knocked him out. I'm going to try and fill and extract all these guys before that sniper sees me. Right, so one, two, three, and four. And that's me practically laid the groundwork for the uh, doing both uh, mission objectives now, because that's most of the guys been dealt with. So I can go upstairs now and get the, the oil transfer pump uh, turned off and then I can shoot the, the rocket launcher at the oily water separator tank and blow that up and hopefully if I jump to the ground after the cutscene nobody will spot me. Here's Horton. I'm just going to crawl all the way just to be careful. No point in uh, coming this far in the mission just to fail. Right. You'll start crouch walking when you get to the stairs automatically. Just press. Oh, the door's already on. Right, press triangle, turn off the pump. Skip the cutscene with the select button and jump. But well, I was going to jump out the window, I'm just going to go back the way I came. Right. Crawl and then. Crawl again. 
right and just go back the way you came and look as you can see because you filtered and extracted all the guys there's nobody there between you and the exit making this second part of the uh, mission so much easier than it would have been if you just knocked them out because they probably would have woken up by now so heed my advice to make sure you're foot in recovery every guy Look, there's a guy coming in, look, how's he not spotted me, look, oh, he's run right by us, <laughs> he's away to investigate that pumpkin thunder, right, and while he's away, I can take out my rocket launcher, my CGM 25, but it doesn't need to be this powerful, any rocket launcher, as long as you hit that red tank for here, and then jump to the ground so nobody spots you, skip the cutscene with the select button, and it's just a case of getting out of the base and watching any soldiers that are searching for you in the house. Takes a wee while to load this but okay, Press let's get the cutscene. There's an alert mode. I just like to stick to this left hand ball and just go out the way I came in. Just, just crawl the whole time. Don't take any risks. I know it adds extra time on it, it's boring, it's slower, but I'd rather go a wee bit slower and get the mission done than worry about uh, having to restart and restart because I get caught and it's an instant game over. I'd rather waste a minute crawling than uh, another 15 minutes just to get back to this point, basically. So I have a bit of patience and it'll pay off in the end. Wait, because uh, I've got a great bond with D-Dog, I've got the ability to knock out enemies. So I'm telling D-Dog to go and knock him out. Alright. So D-Dog's taking care of him. I'll foot and recover him, maybe. Now nah, I'll just crawl by him and get... Just get the hell out of here, I think. I'll just put him to sleep first. Wait, you've got to be wary of two soldiers over there, and then there's another two soldiers inside two walker gears. And the range of the walker gears can see you pretty uh, far away, like 70 or 60 metres. So just just crawl outside the base and make your way back up to where you came down. Just be wary of mines. Remember those mines the D-Dog marked on the way in? You might be wary of them. Because if they hear the mines going off, they'll come in your direction, boom, they'll catch you. And the reason I like to choose this exit as well as the entrance, it's easy to get in and it's easy to get out. But uh, there's also a wee kind of rock path where you can avoid the soldiers that are looking for you by going above their heads. You'll see in a second what I'm talking about. I put the night vision goggles on to combat any landmines that I could be able to accidentally walk in here when I'm crawling. Right, when I'm close enough to the top, I'll just start crouch wall. Right, and an enemy unit is on route to these hills that I'm in, so you want to stay as close to this right hand cliff as possible and you should avoid any soldier looking for you. If you can crawl, crawl. It's best if they're in your vicinity but if, if their line of sight isn't right directly in front of you or they can see you then uh, crouch walk but as you can see there's a guy right near me he's like 20 meters away. Uh, so I'm just going to crawl I should get past him. And there's another guy. I'll just be ready to see where he goes. I might have to smoke grenade him. But he's out my way, so I can start crouch walking a bit towards uh, the other guy, I think. Yep, uh, I'll crouch walk and then I'll start crawling again. Just until I'm sure that that guy over there that's 40 odd metres away can't see me anymore 
and then once I'm out of their line of sight I can just make a, a, a beeline uh, to get out of the hot zone. So just crawl on this upper path. Then when you're past them, crouch walk. And then when you're down the hill and far away from them, you should be able to start running. Right, so I'm within about 80 metres away, I think I can start running. So I'll just run as fast as I can until I've exfiltrated the hot zone by land enjoy the thunderstorm en route and as you can see I've exfiltrated the hot zone Mission complete and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. And as you can see I get an S rank, so thank you for watching YouTube and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe. Uh, hopefully you can get it as well. Good luck, I'll see you later.